For a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. All right. Today is Sunday, February 23rd of 2020, and you're listening to episode 222 of the BCC Podcast. Today, we're going to be going over some of the news to come out of New York Toy Fair, including the reveal of the Lego Minions theme, which we knew was coming, but yeah. As well as a few sets for the Mandalorian, new Spider-Man set, and was probably going to be the main news of the day, the Lego Minifigures 10th Anniversary Series. Joining me today is Moluris. Do you even have the official list of how we're supposed to be saying names? Because this doesn't feel right. It is you, because you're the only other one here that was on before Ford. So what? now it's seniority? Yeah, it's been seniority for a long time. Oh, no, know. it has no? not. Yes, it has. No, it has Ford. not. It's been just, it he been goes down the list. And I will remain silent. Go listen to last week's podcast. Also joining me is Ford. I look forward to this weekend every year. I don't know if that's sad or kind of cool. What weekend? It's Toy Fair weekend. Oh. Oh. I didn't need you to sell this argument, though. Remember when I gave you the list of what order to introduce people in? Yes. Yes. And it was based on seniority. Yes, it was. See? But we've changed it. Since when? when? I didn't get that memo. It, because, uh, in the last few, we I feel like we've changed it. because it, it, Ever like, since Orion came here, uh, I'm sure. I yeah. didn't change it, then. And also Clinda. How am I higher in seniority than Orion? Because it took Orion like three years before he's actually on the podcast. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> unless you count the library Look, Just because days. he makes Cooking Hero Factors. No, that wasn't even this numbering of podcasts. Us. Yep. That's so, why I said unless. So that's why of... last and least unless. is Orion. <laughs> Banana. How is Orion the least here if Leo has failed us two weeks in a row? How? I... Mace. No. Leo's still been on more episodes than Orion. <laughs> also, full we disclosure, don't talk about Mace. we're sorry, but Mace has died and we're like really broken up about it. We didn't want to say anything, but like. He won't Ryan, become a brick fair. We agreed not to talk about this on the podcast until we can get an he, official, an official announcement he, video he, after that. He ate a Lego minifigure and just we, choked on it. And you see, the thing is, he, he ate those uh, plant-based and Lego bricks. See, yeah. I was going to eat the plant-based Lego bricks that we bought like I planned, but yeah. since before that could happen, I've had horrible stomach issues, and considering I'm going in for endoscopy on Sunday or Tuesday, I don't think that's a this good idea Sunday. to have that in my stomach. That would be an excellent idea, though. Well, I think I found do a it problem. To freak th- do it for the power play to freak the doctor out. <laughs> do like, like that right woman in uh, the 18th century did and swallow frogs right before you go in and then start puking them up <laughs> as you get there and say, you know, oh, some tadpo- I swallowed tadpoles, you know, a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh, that, Were they that live? That was hardcore. What? Well, were they live frogs? Yeah. Live Were they frog. still alive when she threw them up? Yeah. Probably. Would they suffocate, though? Why? No. Basically, what happened is she uh, could keep them in her throat. So, basically... And breathe? A frog in her throat. I'm gonna... Yeah. That. This all no, sounds Harry... very suspicious. No, no, it's, no. It's... Harry Houdini used to take, like, big, like, golf balls or larger, and he could hold, like, two in his throat. Where I remember that, in his, in his no, he throat, because he <laughs> because he was able he he through a lot of practice uh, he was able to control the muscles in his in his throat and neck and he could just yeah, yeah. hold them there. And how did you breathe around them? I don't know. Ask Harry Houdini, but he did it. And then he died. <laughs> yeah, no, he died from the, the water reasons. torture chamber. No, he died because he was punched in the gut and forgot to brace himself. 
And no, then it I heard he died fine. from the the hypothermia and all the side effects from just like doing all that well, stuff for so long. Well, this probably didn't help. Also, <laughs> I'm pretty How sure he Harry died because he got punched. Die? Though I know he didn't die because he got so. punched. Did he no. die, or did he escape from death? No, he's, as he's the greatest <laughs> escape artist. I'm gonna look ever. this up now. Yeah. It's oh, like no, he I will lock like, this fleshy prison prison and escape. Oh, it's according long. to Google, it was appendicitis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a yeah because it it was because his appendix was ruptured because yeah. someone punched him in the appendix. Yeah, but he also the 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 water chamber thing just didn't because that was like right before he died as well. I think that contributed to it. Probably. So, speaking of a great stuntman of history. Lego Rue. Minions was announced. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say. Speaking of, no. you know, stomachs <laughs> rupturing. No, Minions was speaking. Announced. Speaking of greatness and ma- <laughs> magnitude. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what even? Are you guys done? Haven't you seen Despicable Me one? <laughs> Not the in a God long time, ve- Vector. <laughs> See, I no? haven't seen it in like five years. <laughs> you I haven't remember seen... <laughs> as a child in physical science, when we were learning about vectors, they were able to use this movie as a reference to how vectors actually work. And it's like, well, I, I guess to study for this you know, upcoming tests, I just have to rewatch Despicable Me. When did Despicable Me come out? It still feels like a new movie to me. No, it does not. It feels like it came out like 40 years ago or something. You're you're just old. What year was it? 2010? 2010. I knew it. Anything in the last 10 years is relatively new. What the heck? I'm well, looking up pictures of Vector. I can't movies. stop laughing. <laughs> Why are you looking at Start them? Start posting them for our audience to see. Just... Put it in the overlay. <laughs> no, uh, let's talk about the sets. But Vector is so much more interesting than the sets. <laughs> <laughs> Why is so funny about it anyways? That's not particularly funny. It's just a, it's just a it's picture. Just a dude. I don't I, I don't know man. It's a meme. I swear I saw that picture move just a moment ago. Not that one. Anyway <laughs> I'm not even going to give context to this. Even though I'm I... excited for this friggin' Lego minions. He- he- heck yeah. Oh, but yeah. There is some actually oh, some yeah. interesting things to point out. Okay, fine. I'll With put both that one. Direction and magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> what a uh, chad. I... What? Oh, man. Fine, I'll put this one in the overlay. I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> what is it even? Oh. It's Vector. He has both direction and. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we get back on that track? That was a sentence. <laughs> yes, it was. No, it was gonna be a sentence. And then... no, uh, never mind. All right, so most of these are junior sets, but a couple of them have some interesting pieces in them. The uh, first one, Minions in Gru's lab, actually are, is not interesting at all. Uh, no? It really isn't. It's very quiet. Uh, it has minions in it. What do you guys think of the minion minifigures? I think they they're... Work. Banana. I like the feet. Banana. Yeah, I like the feet, too. <laughs> Why? Because they're feet. <laughs> he likes feet, okay? <laughs> You, you, people are killing this podcast. Next. Also, up, wait. What? They're in the washer. <laughs> I said, "Is that a sticker? I want. I want that it, sticker to say like." Printed. No. Oh, Why do you not want it printed? 
Actually, you know, there's so many Star Wars sets that use that spherical piece. It would be great to just replace <laughs> one of them with this. So, you, like, you just have the normal Star Wars set. But then there's just the minions with the wash and one, one of the pieces. That would actually be legitimately funny. And now I hate everything. <laughs> Next up, we have a, even more boring minion pilot training. I'm trying to figure out how the eyes so work on these. so unimpressed. Look at him. Honestly, yeah. yeah, this is even on it less impressive. It's, Wait, it's is that so off bad. The, is that off to the right supposed to be the fart gun? I guess. <laughs> yeah, it is. Fart gun. It yeah, that that wasn't even blaster. invented yeah, yet. Yeah, that wasn't invented yet. That, oh, yeah. banana? Hot uh, I'm dog, confused about bag. it too. <laughs> Evidently, that flat thing's a peanut bag. Yep, it, they, they're actually calling it the fart blaster. <laughs> How many peanut bags do we have? One. Uh, is this the only uh, one? Wait. It has a banana! There's a banana! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Next up, you have we have Unstoppable too? Bike Chase. And is that supposed to be Gru? Yes. Yes. It actually is says that it's Gru. Gru? <laughs> it just... it... What is with you? It has a banana too! <laughs> it's not... he, uh, yeah, yeah, he does have a banana. <laughs> Hi, why are you like this? So, banana! <laughs> it doesn't even look like Gru, it looks like Gru. some random guy in winter wear. Oh, he did move up forward. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look at all like Gru. Oh. Oh. Honestly, yeah, it doesn't even look vaguely oh. like Gru. Oh, the next one oh, has a golden banana. Oh. Oh. All right, yeah, let's move on to the only interesting one in here. Oh, yeah. Well, the oh, cultural appropriation like minion. Well, no, because this Min, one has... Min Jago. The golden bananas. You guys are talking Min about Jago. golden bananas, but we already had a golden banana piece. But it also the has the, the banana sickle. The b- <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise supposed to no, 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 but this set has a banana in, in red. In red? In red. What? Yes. Red it's banana. subliminal that, messaging. Oh my god. Oh, that is what happens when bananas absorb too much radiation. <laughs> oh, oh the... there's Have a golden red? banana, guys. Have what? we gotten red bananas? Before? There's a golden banana. <laughs> Shut up. I'm also, not... <laughs> we have the Ninjago uh, b- like railing piece in red, which we haven't gotten before, hey, which is really you, cool. Ninjago. That is always cool. comes back to that. Honestly, yeah, I do like the color scheme for this. Is that lantern? That's oh, that, the lanterns. That's the pumpkin piece. It's, when did we get that? Oh. That's in something recently. Uh, Was like that Haggard's old. Hut? No, it's a newer piece, like in the last couple uh, of years. Yes. Yeah, that but is no, a wasn't there from wasn't set. there something really similar that we got in? Uh, it wasn't the Ninjago City set, it, but it was like around the same time. And I don't I think, think an so. Entirely different lantern piece, because I know that the they had like a lantern piece that was. Well, Ninjago these lanterns mostly would be minifigure heads. Okay. You're Maybe thinking of the it. tassel. Maybe that. Yeah, the what? tassel piece is what that new. It? What is this 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 little blip here? It says no batteries are required for this minions toy set, so kids can start playing right away. Why why include that? It's because uh, this is uh, the descriptions here are from Toy Fair, which is for like investors and retail right. realtors and stuff. Oh, okay. Why are they not listing this? Why are they not specifically listing the different kinds of bananas? Oh, I just realized the banana set. sickle actually is not one piece. I thought of it first the telescope it piece is with a banana a and peeled beige. banana. It's a banana. They have and beige, beige banana. <laughs> the beige banana. It's the oh. unpeeled banana. Is it a Amazing. different head mold for the so, minion with one eye versus the minion with two? I, yeah. It's so weird. What on earth is he supposed? Is he naked or so is he wearing? Is, is it a peeled banana They're wearing with orange a peeled jumpsuit. minion? They look naked. They're not naked. They have orange jumpsuits. Tell that to they the look investors. Like solid, <laughs> solid jumpsuits, gold jumpsuits, Mister Investor. Oh, and I just realized it also has those newer gear pieces. Yeah. Really? Off to the mm. side. Oh yeah, right yeah, yeah, side, yeah. So this one actually yeah, like has some interesting pieces. Yeah, like, I like this one actually. Oh, and also, are those slopes in teal? They yeah. are in teal. 
They are. Yeah. I really like. They don't teal. have a. They don't have a teal banana though. So. I don't know. Teal banana. Point? I guess banana. that stud shooter is supposed to be like a firework launcher or something. <laughs> I'm sick of stud shooters. They're not good for like a, a actual collectors I say? because they don't look good, and they're not good for kids either because they fire was... them once and the stud is gone forever. That's why they give you. Extras. If it was, if it was for shooting fireworks, you could like have a kung fu panda minion crossover, like. <laughs> Like, instead of him yelling, I love kung fu, it's, you know, I want to steal the moon instead. I want to steal the Declaration of Independence. Ryan, you're way too entertained by this. I want to steal the moon and eat bananas. And I'm all out of bananas. (laughs) No one's seen they live. No, I know what you're referencing for. It's just not funny. Okay, we like, have one more set. I can leave set. if you want me to. <laughs> You're not allowed to, Ford. Okay. All right, the minions and their lair. I like what it. about it? It looks cool. No? No, it does not. I don't know why they have three different suits for the minions, but okay. Um... On the box art for this, you can see it apparently opens up on the inside, and there's, like, a building for the minions to be in. Really? It's fine. Hmm. Oh, apparently that one minion is Kevin. Hey, Kevin. The the fat one? No, the tall one. (laughs) Oh, okay. They're so distinct. (laughs) All right, and that's it for minions. Thoughts? Yes. It exists. They're really epic. Wait, did you go over the big minions? That's what we just went over. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. What I... were you looking at? <laughs> well, no, I thought... Who was looking dr- at the bananas? Shut up. Was yeah. not. I thought they were what holding were guns in their hands, and then I realized those were just hands. That's because in minions 2, they will shoot you with a pistol. Yeah. Okay, well, it's minions, so it's cool. All right, uh, let's get on to news what? that. Yes. What is it? <laughs> what? All right, what is with you? Right. <laughs> has minions just utterly broke you? I think it has. Banana. <laughs> All right, another thing revealed at well, Toy Fair. Banana thing. Wow. I get it, Ford. It's just not funny. Banana! <laughs> the spicy banana. Okay, so the Razor Crest from the Mandalorian was revealed, and at first you thought, all right, that's kind of cool. Then I realized but it's. Then you a... realized it was Star Wars, and it, it sucks. No, so. the issue is it's got about a thousand pieces, and it's $130. That's not a too unreasonable for a Star Wars set. I guys. think it is. Why is it so high priced? Is it because it's an exclusive set? Stuff. And yes, like, because of the pieces. license. Is it because it's a Mandalorian set and they didn't make uh, any other Mandalorian sets? They did actually. Yes, they had. What's the price to piece on that? Bad. It doesn't have any bananas also, in it though. The minifigures the same one from the ATST. Yeah, they don't have a new like the completely silver that's bothersome it is 12.7 oh my gosh baby yoda is one of those pieces once again kill it not too unreasonable i bet baby yoda is why it costs so much almost definitely when you look at the actual lego website then they have an entire thing just devoted to just the baby yoda Oh, uh, yeah. Well, the thing is, it's only a new head for the Baby Yoda anyways. That's just a normal baby minifigure body. Yeah. But it's green hands. Yes. That's the thing about Lego, hand. is that you can change the hands. <laughs> Not for a baby, though. But you can't change the hands on this. And also, there's some other stuff that I'm very disappointed with in this set. For like... example, the Mandalorian's gun is still absolutely awful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it just, oh, it's, boy. Just, it's just not good. It doesn't even look like the actual gun. It doesn't look like anything from the holiday special, okay? I actually <laughs> committed heresy and chopped off we know. the end of one of the... Wait, uh, why is Lando the in this set? No, it's not Lando. That's actually Apollo Creed. 
Though it does yeah. look way too much like Lando. Yeah, it looks exactly like Lando, but it's supposed to be Apollo Creed. Mm-hmm. I can't I tell he if he's joking is. or not because I haven't finished. He's the totally serious. It's no, Carl I'm serious. Weathers. It's his character. It's Carl. Oh. Still, still putting it together. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm. I don't understand. You don't. That Carl you Weathers plays Apollo us. Creed. I know he plays Apollo Creed, but I'm 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 like thinking: Is there another black bounty hunter that's called Apollo Creed because like John Favreau hasn't seen Rocky or something, and now like no, it's just the same actor plays this character. I'm, I'm having one of those look into the wait. Camera the same actor right is in the Mandalorian playing another bounty hunter or something. <laughs> Who you is the this character? Episode. Is this Karga is the character. That's his name in what? the show. What? I didn't see the episode where it had this guy in it. Did I? It's yes, the first you episode. Did. It's in the first episode. How long is he in it for? He gives him the job. Yeah. Remember, That's and you were talking Herzog. about. Not that guy, the other guy. The first guy. What other guy? The guy, remember how you said you liked the organic looking money? Yeah, it, wait, the he's the guy who gives him, him? The organic money. Yes, he's him. in it for like two seconds. That's more than two seconds, first off. <laughs> he's in it for like a minute yeah, or but something. Yeah, he's in the rest of the series. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Have you even seen the third episode? No, no I, 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 got, I got halfway through the third episode and I just kind of got a little bored. I've been trying to get through it again, though. All right. That took way too much time, and we didn't even talk about. Well, the you could have just said because you were like you're making me think that Billy D. Williams was in the Mandalorian or something because I did not remember this guy at all. What on earth? How is this my fault? It's this I, minion's fault, okay? Just blame it on the minion. What I have been doing in your life po- today? Faulty bananas. I don't know. Consuming potassium. He means alcohol. Anyway, you know I wanted a Razor Crest set. Also, I don't like how they did the cockpit. You know, I took a picture down in this set. Because if you notice, they use all those disc pieces, so it's really small. I mean, it can still fit two minifigures. I know, but the thing about the Razor Crest is it has a lot of interior to I it. I mean, you're right, but you have to keep in mind you're that wrong. this could have been more expensive. I would have preferred that. I would have preferred that. I'd rather something would be more expensive and be better. Would you have preferred this being than expensive $200? and not that great? Huh? Would you have th- preferred this being two hundred dollars and possibly? I don't. Yes. I don't yeah. Like at that point, look, it's... there's not a big difference between a hundred and twenty dollar and two hundred dollar Seth. I'm gonna but spend that much. Season two it. will come out, so Lego has another shot at this. Just saying. Uh, Apparently, and, all the know, rest of the Mandalorian merch that was previewed at Toy Fair was all based off of the Mandalorian Season 2. Lego's the only one still stuck oh in Season gosh. 1. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, I, my thing, though, that I don't I like about this set any, is else. how uh, exposed it looks. Uh, I don't I don't like how it has all those ugly-looking studs like they didn't finish putting the final polishing touches on it. Yeah, it does look kind it, of... Yeah, like uh, like here, my the worst part is probably uh, in the f- in the the main photo how they have like that I don't know the two big uh, I don't know engines on the sides the one that's most prominent in the photo you see that like angular brick it just randomly just stuck onto the thruster it just looks awful. Hmm. Which one? Look, look at it just sitting yeah, I there. I see what he means. It's a little slow. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. It just stuck right there. What what's it even doing? Yeah, this set definitely like reeks of compromise and rushing. <laughs> Ford's review of the of the Rise of Skywalker. Mm. <laughs> yeah, All right, a movie I still haven't seen and will never see. <laughs> you know, I actually feel like we should have went and saw the Rise of Skywalker instead of nineteen seventeen. You are a sad, I, it, sad man if you think that. I don't. I don't know because rise, uh, rise of nineteen seventeen, nineteen seventeen. It was okay, but it wasn't like it was okay. But there's not much to talk about in the end. Yeah, nothing no. to make fun of at the end, except no. the. Do you know the way? You can't just 
<laughs> and I was in the bathroom during <laughs> you that part. You ruined it. No, you... you ruined that scene for me. <laughs> <laughs> you were there, man. Explain for the audience the context he said, of what even this as... movie is. No, well, they should know it. It was like huge I had no idea what it was picture. when we went in. Just everyone else wanted to well, see most... it. Oh, okay. Well, I, well, I don't know. It was it was one of the bigger movies of last year. Or so I don't. Know. The nineteen seventeen World War One movie done in one take. You know that one. Except not uh, really, but not really. Uh, there's only there's only a couple movies actually done in one take. The rest are very disingenuous. But uh, oh, this is what is it? Uh, is it during the death scene? I think because I mix them up. It's during mm-hmm. the death. Oh, scene. Oh, right? you're right. Yeah. Now I remember. Yeah, so one of the main characters is dying, and it's all emotional. And the dying character is like asking uh, the 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 other guy, you know, if he knows the way to the uh, uh, to, to where they're delivering this this war message or whatever. And uh, anyway, he goes, "Do you know the way?" And as soon as he said that, I was like, I, I look over at Mal, who's chuckling. And I'm like, I knew it. I knew you were thinking about you, Gundam Knuckles, and you ruined it. I knew it. Why is it every movie I've gone to? Like recently has reminded me of Ugandan Knuckles. Why is it for a second I thought, how did Sonic the Hedgehog remind you of Ugandan Knuckles? And I rest, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no. That... <laughs> uh. All right, so let's move on to Spider Man. Spider Man continues to exist in this world. And he has sets that make no sense. And by no sense, I mean nobody buys them, so they make no dollars and no sense. But how yeah, do nope. we know that nobody I'll be buys here all them? week. Nope. Oh, 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 man, these are not good. <laughs> yeah, these, there's <laughs> one. So weird. So, Venom I is a just... T-Rex. I don't know it why. It looks so bad. Now, hold up a second. Is and it... this is, okay, remember last week we reviewed the Venom spider crawler thing, too. So right. We've got two Venom creatures. Is it a T-Rex? I can't. It yeah, is. it's a T-Rex. T-Rex. Okay. It has a lot yeah. of white for Venom, too. They're calling it the Venomosaurus. Are they actually so dumb? Just call it. Oh Venom yeah, Rex. they are. That's dumb. Just call it Venom Rex. Wait, what are they calling it? They're calling it the Venomosaurus. <laughs> Venomosaurus. Ambush. That's so dumb. Is it supposed to be like venomous? No. I don't know. Like... So let's talk the about venomous. the only thing that people actually talk about. These the mini figures. Yeah. Uh, that Venom, okay. if it is new, does not look different enough to be remarkable and honestly i can't tell any different with this iron spider either yeah i think from the last one printing, is the, uh, it's the it's incredibly guy similar. different is he new yeah he's new didn't we is get he? him at toy fair or was that deadpool ham deadpool duck i think yeah deadpool duck okay i'm, I'm lost it's still weird they haven't released an official Howard the Duck minifigure, considering that they have a mold that works fine for it. I think no one likes him after the movie. Well, no one liked Howard him before the, the movie cool. either. Yeah. But still, it just is a novelty. Marvel sets are so bad, and we could go on an entire episode about how they're just wasted potential. And also, Lego can't fix their printing. Just look at this picture of the minifigure, look at Spider-Ham's eyes, and you can see the red through the white. Meh. Remember yeah, it looks like he's a little bloodshot. Like he went out, you know, had a little too much to drink last this night. This is or still something, technically you know. a prototype. Yes, Ford. But also, all the new Lego sets that I just got and have been building have the same issue. Which ones? Ninjago. <clears throat> Which ones? All of them. Like anything that has light printing on a dark background, like the furries. Yeah, yeah. I had that problem. You haven't had maybe that I problem? Have, maybe I just haven't noticed. Hang on. See, you said it was the... One of and the, the arcade pods especially, you can see it, because they have so much uh, exposed wait, skin. Hang on, where on the furries? Um, Like on the pink one, the yellow isn't totally yellow. You can see pink through it. The yellow isn't totally yellow. The yellow, yellow. skull. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like Dijon mustard yellow. Is it supposed to be that color? 
No. Oh. It's supposed to be bright yellow. Okay. Y you have to remember, I am slightly colorblind. Also, is that so a Sans a reference? I, I think it is. See. That's totally a Sans reference. Wait, where are you guys looking at this? Sans? It's on our minifigures. <laughs> oh. What's the Sans reference? I don't... I'm confused. Look, I Let me look up Lego Gamer Sans Furry thing, and see so. if it comes up. Oh, nope. Chima <laughs> came up. <laughs> Surprising nobody. I'm looking at him. I don't see this. Where's the Sans reference? Looking at who? Oh, you're and looking I, at Spider Ham still. No, I'm not. You're looking at the pink furry from Ninjago. <laughs> Wait, the... Oh, I'm I'm trying to look at the itinerary. Where is... It's not on the itinerary. Oh, there. <sighs> look, here's a picture. The pink furry has a Sans Ooh. reference on it. Oh, not really. Uh, it, I mean, it's no. the correct eye, but it's the wrong color. I know, and I'm. It's a reference, it's the wrong, not a correct color. the wrong out. color, though. It could be a Sans? coincidence. Could be a coincidence. He's from Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a game that Smash was really Bros popular in, while, in 2015. So. What was it called? Um, it's called tell? Over the Head. Are you guys really? He knows what it is. No, and he was over the hedge. It had Ben Stiller in it. Um, Tell <laughs> you later, Ford. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's not anyway, a Sans reference. And then it comes with this Spider-Man car, which is also really bad. I. It's so weird. It looks so ugly. Ah. I, I'm i really sick of these because there's so much potential Spider-Man has for sets. And they just utterly waste it. Like, and then it has weird suspension and everything. <laughs> it, I don't know. How, like, there's a, there's a vibe that I get from it that so is just... I'm, I mean, they are prototypes, right? No, this is yeah. the official set. <clears throat> well, it looks so unfinished. All right, let's move on to something else. Uh, minifigure series 20? Yeah. I think so. There's no furries in this. A little disappointed. There is. There's there is? one. There's yeah. a llama. Yeah. Let's see. Furry. There is a llama. Oh, my gosh. I furry. must have this. Uh, and it, well, here's the thing. They always include someone who is a furry, someone dressed like food, uh, a pet, uh, maybe a musical instrument, uh, maybe oh, darn. a Mexican animal, small animal that we've never seen before, like a turtle. Also, these images are from Brothers Brick, and I realize their watermark's partially cut off in the picture I put up there. But anyway... What is up? What's the theme for this? There is. No it's not theme. a themed one. There's usually oh, not a theme. Oh, because okay, it's the tenth. All right. Look at mind. that printing. Oh, oh, okay. Printing for what? Uh, like you were saying earlier with the color thing, uh, this one. Uh, th that's oh. Awful. That's just terrible. Oh, Bro. She's got a okay. good tan going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have multiple issues tan. with this okay. mini figure. Yes, you have multiple issues. Uh, yeah. You're bringing it up on the screen here. But yeah, Lego needs to correct this issue. I can't believe it seems to just be getting worse and worse. It actually does. It looks like she's got a shirt with skin printing on the shirt. <laughs> I mean, those exist. I like the Viking guy's helmet. Ford, stop bouncing around. <laughs> what? Fine. Here, we'll we'll go through these one by one. Just a moment here. Let me get up a good picture with all of them, so I don't. Have I to don't like one. any of these. Technically, Mal was the first to bounce around because the first one is the brick suit guy. I do not like any of these. All right. 
just a moment here. There we are. Yeah, I don't either, actually. Well, let's go through why, one by one and explain why. Yeah, because they've ran out of ideas for minifigures, it seems. That's like the guy is a, a green brick. It's because they money? already did the blue and the red brick. It looks... Uh, and then the, the P guy? I mean, why? All right, yeah, we'll start with the green brick guy. This is just because the, the only interesting is he has kind of an all right hair piece that's new. I do it makes him look like you know, Zac Efron. This guy sucks, you know, but he's got good hair. Like <laughs> Zac Efron. I've known a couple guys yeah. like that. He does look like that. <laughs> he, he has that Disney Channel hair, yep. you know. He does, actually. The sweet then, life of Zac. He's yeah. like, what? What? He looks this like he used to be on the Disney hair. Channel, and now he's trying to be a pop artist. Jake Paul? Yeah, the yeah. appeal of the brick people has gone away at this point. So also, then, I think that the green just is an ugly color for a minifigure anyway. <laughs> green is camo. fine. I think it's because it's be it's in front of a green background. That might yeah, not that be helping its case. So then also, it looks like these all come with, or at least a few of them come with the DC superhero stand things. These are $5 still, too. I will refuse to buy any one of them. Wait, what Good. do you mean DC superhero <laughs> stamp? Five bucks each? Like uh, the hip-hop dancer girl with Boombox, she has one of those... It, mm -hmm. They introduce in the deep the posable little thing. Oh, that thing. Okay. I've got one on the way, but I haven't seen it in person yet. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the hip hop dancer girl. If I didn't just dis dislike the design in general, it makes it worse by the fact that the printing is atrocious. It is like exceptionally I mean, bad. Like, at least the hat is okay with the hair combo. But, like no, yeah, but the when hat are you is bad. bad? When are you going to use that though? <laughs> Exactly. I wouldn't. I mean, it would well, almost. It would, like I mean, you could use it more so. Yeah, I mean, it. You could use it more so if it was any other color than a dyed red hair color. But that yeah. makes it very sliss. If it was like that's pretty similar brown. to your hair color. No, it's not. Your hair color does not look like that. Meh. It doesn't look red. It looks oh. red in the sun. I, don't, I didn't I think that her thing looked that bad. It is red. It's it dark red. Very dark. It red. looks like a Twizzler red. But I know? wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's like dyed dark. It's red. it's like it's Metro red. That's the uh, color it is. Mm. Like the same color of a comet. No, no, no. That is the color. Yeah, it's, it's I, I'm I guessing. That's the color, I mean, I believe but I just you. Don't agree with that. It I looks believe like you. It's but... dyed. Again, the the what is, what's with the pea costume guy? We'll get there. Girl. Also, the boom box in another color, which is, again, lost its novelty. Yeah. Now, because uh, the costume people has become a staple for every wave, and they're again running out. They already had the banana suit guy. They had the which rocket is suit funny, guy. Because, you know, banana. Hot dog. Also, Pizza, why does it just come with a red watermelon. apple? Have we not gotten a red apple part in that long? Also, why does the guy, why does the person in the P costume have an apple accessory? I don't know. Why not a like a vegetable or an actual? See, pea honestly, pie? the co it a lot, I know a lot of people love these costumed minifigures, but I can't help but feel that it feels like such a waste of a mold that can never be used for anything else whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Like at least with like helmets and stuff, you can mix and match them with other things to make custom minifigures. But with the suits, it's literally all you can have is that. Okay. Mm. And uh, next up, a knight and with sword and shield. There's like literally nothing Outrated. special about this whatsoever. Well, the sword. Leo is new. would probably like this one. The sword, the sword is, is new. Is... It looks so similar to like the Lord of the Rings swords. It's well, I guess that's the point. But it it is new. It's interesting, but like it's not interesting enough for this. If it's so similar to another sword that we hardly notice, though, that's another waste of a mold. Mm. Mm. I think it's meant to look more like the classic like chrome sword. But, Bad a rounded tip, but yeah. still, again, I don't really find the piece particularly appealing. And the thing with sword pieces, you want to have a lot of them if you get one. Right. Unless it's like a special looking sword, like a legendary looking sword, which this one does not. Yeah. 
All right, then we have Pirate Girl of Cutlass, which basically the only exclusive the Cutlass is pretty common is that pirate hat with the hair. Yeah. Eh. Which like is a uh, is her minifigure face d- d- uh, different? I like the yeah, that's new tooth. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, like the printing is new. The only new mold is the hat, like you said. And just that's it, really. It's the best you can do. <laughs> All right, the next one has some redeeming qualities. The uh, It has a new shirt with a classic mm-hmm. spaceship on it. Again, the printing looks kind of faded, which bugs me, but that is like a casual shirt, which we need more of. So, I like the rocket blueprint. That's nice. I like the pants, And the fact yeah. that it comes with the rocket. I don't I don't know why the, the kind of like faded pastel colors of the minifigure don't go that well for me. I oh, don't know. I can't figure Just out the, well, that looks exactly the hair. Like your wardrobe, though, Ryan. It yeah, it does. <laughs> I should. I'm change. trying to get a. Be- I can't find a better view of the minifigure in any of these that actually shows because it looks like it has hair on yeah. it, but yeah. yeah, it does. I can't tell what yeah, color it is. Hair. She's is got it- a ponytail on the. Back. Oh, is it the ponytail hat yeah, piece? Yeah, this is the same. Uh, okay, the and then color. what color is it? It looks okay, green it's... from the photo, but... Okay, it's not green. green. I see a fi- yeah. there's a picture of the, all the it's backs brown. of them. It's black. Okay, mm. black. Okay. That was close. So that's a newer color for that. There's that's all right. There's also NASA printing on the rocket, which means... Though also, like... something about the hair, the hat with the hair and ponytail piece always bugged me, because the hat doesn't look Lego-y to me. What does it look like? Hmm. It's got, like, too much detail, and it's a little bit too big. It looks like yeah. it was 3D printed. Yeah, you got a point. They should have made it more like the classic Lego hat. So it actually blends in with the male variant of it. So next up we've got the, you know... The furry. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's not really a furry because you can, a difference between a furry and a costume is where your face is at. Oh, right. Yeah. This one's so Lama this Palooza one's okay. Girl, Llama Palooza. Llama Palooza. Yay. Ford, you're dragging us down. I know. I'm, I'm really tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why does she have a carrot? Llamas eat carrots. I must have this minifigure. I, Why? I don't. Because I feel like they they're my mom's favorite. And Llamas? I must acquire it. Yes. Huh. <laughs> because one time her little sister got spat on by a llama. <laughs> <laughs> because her older brother tricked her into making it do it. It's a great story. But the what long about story camels? Short, well, she didn't have her younger sister get spat on by a camel, so it doesn't have the same sort of significance. So I need to get this so that my mom. Did can she send hate it to her, her little sister or something? She's like six years younger, so prob. Uh, she loves her younger sister very much. Okay. Which is why she must send her this llama. All right, and now next we have uh, Viking with spear and shield. It's so boring looking. Mm, yeah. I like Again, it. I think it's something Leo would really like. I, I think like he already would like it. Actually, yeah, you know what would make this better? Cape, Leo. Like, eh. you, you, know, you know what would actually make this better? Is if they uh, they made him uh, sleeveless, and instead of a helmet, they gave him like this really big, wild, new mold for hair. Like Viking hair, like this like super crazy looking hair. What if they gave him this crazy hair, but then put the helmet on top, like all like crooked looking, so that it looks like it just can't sits fit. on top. Yeah, of like it just kind of sits on top of the hair, like it can't actually fit on his head because he has yeah. so much hair. But but like, don't you think him, that like, that would make it more interesting or as a like minifigure? That. You know, make him Maybe. like a total like marauder kind of guy. I don't know. I'm not into very much of like the historical minifigures in general, anyways. You don't like history. Well, I just don't know what I do with them. It's not like he only I have... likes um, he only likes American history. <laughs> what and... language is we speaking? What? <laughs> Are you guys determined to throw this off balance? I don't know. Oh, absolutely. If someone says banana one more time, I swear I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> All right, let's move on. You pinata boy with horse pinata. <laughs> ha. So, I find it interesting they didn't include the baseball bat mold with this, which I think they should have. have. Well, I mean, so, oh, sombrero piece is not new. Is the pinata piece new? 
Yes. I think it is. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, and you're saying that like, it, and you know, you're the least likely to know the answer to that question. No, because no, because I have seen that before. I I like, but it, it is very new. similar to one that I used to own. It's probably because it looks similar to the Lego dog. Dog? Yeah, that piñata is new. And another poncho. <laughs> yeah. Nothing Super here up. is particularly stand out. He doesn't even have medium length legs. Oof. The. I I don't know if you guys are still going to talk about the Mexican one, but I noticed that the 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 shirt, the T-shirt for the rock star guy, also weirdly looks kind of like too faded. See the white and the the pink; it looks really yeah. faded looking. Mm-hmm. Why because is it white on why black? Because like Lego artist. can't do black on white for it some reason, like or white on black. Yeah, I think that's what they're going for. I like the keytar though. That's kind yeah, of cool. that's all right. This one is an all right minifigure. Also, like, how come like we that. couldn't get a new color for that hair? It's the same one that. Jake I don't. Scott that is annoying. Has. Come on. He has pink pants. Yeah, they're for Leo, and Orion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pink skinny jeans. And the next one, sleepy girl with pet rabbit. This one's annoying because that's not a new face print. It's a very generic face print. And cool, they have like I the guess. Hermione hair and blonde. Yeah. And then just the bear mold with the rabbit ears. I find nothing appealing about that one at all. I Short guess it's night. interesting, but just like not interesting enough to. Yeah. To and get. then next up, Mal, you haven't said anything. Do you have thoughts? I have plenty of thoughts. Um, Would you care to share them? No. Why would you phrase it like that, Ford? Why okay, next up, up, drone pilot with a micro-built drone. I also do not like... The, okay, this one has, like, the same... I don't like this baseball cap as much. It's better than the one with the ponytail, at least, because it has Isn't less weird detail. Isn't cap, though? Mm, not that I remember. The Lego caps, I remember, have flat bills. Well, they're, mm. I thought they phased those out for this one. Maybe they did, but anyway... I don't find the drone all that appealing. I guess it's probably going to be appealing for some people. Also, the face annoys me. I'm sick of minifigures with band-aids. <laughs> I don't know That's why. That's late last year. Wait, what? why? Because they put, for the Ninjago movie, they put a band-aid on Kai's face and they just stayed there for like five years. <laughs> That's a bit five years, like years, man. Years ago. Let's see yeah. if we had yeah. movie. They stayed on there for two that. years. That's Calm three down. years, okay? That's almost five. <laughs> Two years until five. Anyway, yeah. I'm not a fan of it. I can't it's see his what shirt. what drones actually look like, so. I know. Well, kind of. They it actually have guards around those propellers if it looked like a drone. Well, yeah. Well, how would you make that in Lego? With a new mold? Well, this is a new mold. Again, it's already a new mold. So, why not, you know... Make the propellers a new mold? I mean, it's fine. I just don't feel, feel like it's a drone mold. Is that interesting? Also, I think uh, having it come, or having it not come with, like, some kind of, I guess, like, transparent, clear, like, pole arm, so you can actually make it look like it's flying is kind of a missed opportunity. Mm. I yeah, don't know how they fit nice. that in a minifigure bag, though. No, they have. have they I mean, done it's, that it's before. like the size of a lightsaber rod, so they could do it. Oh, that I thought he meant like a longer one, one that he has to uh, hold. Oh no, then. not that long. No, it's like the size of a lightsaber rod, but then it has like a anti stud at the bottom, so you can like put it on. All right, the next surface. couple are actually somewhat interesting. Pitorencha. The red uh, futuristic ranger. <laughs> That's a really weird name for it, honestly. Probably it's not like yeah, so that they don't do Power Rangers yeah. copyright infringement or whatever. But it actually has some cool printing on it, a new helmet piece, which is cool. Which I, I honestly would like to see that reused in Ninjago. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Is that a new helmet piece? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And though the annoying part is that the blade has no handle piece for some reason. Oh yeah. That's because this is the future. You don't need handles anymore. I don't know. I I don't like that. 
But other than that, it's cool. It's got dual molded legs. The printing is very cool and even. It's one of the more inspired of this wave. I wonder what the face print looks like. What if there isn't one? There probably is. It's a random Japanese stunt guy we've never heard of. And then the next one is a barely hidden Karate reference. Kid. In a, yeah. It daniel is san It is a, just literally a Daniel minifigure. I don't like, I really don't like any of these enough to comment on them. But I daniel actually, so lame. If these were are not $5, I'd probably get this one. How do we know they're $5? Now the weird part is now they have a nunchuck piece and Ninjago's been doing nunchucks for years without a special mold, which is kind of disturbing. I honestly don't think nunchucks needed a mold. That's a new hair piece, right? No. No. Is it? That's yeah. been around for a while. It's the Flitwick hair piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know, because I'm looking right at him. But yeah, it's so obvious a direct reference to the Karate Kid down to the name. Dennis. I don't think they're trying hey, to. Hey, you even got that. the bandana. How about that? So, if the. I don't know what the price is. If they're $5, like the DC ones, I will not buy any. But. Okay, next up is actually one of the very worst in this entire wave. <laughs> <laughs> Track and field athlete with javelin, discus, and metal. This has <laughs> no exclusive parts as far as I can tell. Okay, maybe that spear is new in that light gray color, but who cares? It's light gray, and we have a million of them in silver. I don't like any of the like this. I I would feel less disdain for this minifigure if it didn't have those two accessories of the shield and the spear. What? It's the not discus. a shield. It's a discus. Whatever. Well, it looks like she's holding it like a shield. Also, that ponytail piece has already been in that color many times. It, yep. It's yeah. So, but hey, we gotta include that sports minifigure. Just like every also, the other metal, series. I Don't believe that's has. the same metal we've gotten many times as well. Maybe the ribbon's in a different color. No, I think it was always red. All right, then that's not new at all. I, I guess do think they should start putting that into, like, you know, other retail sets. The, the metal piece, I mean. There's a lot of these accessories they make for these, and then they don't use in other sets, which is annoying. Or they yeah, use very rarely. That is annoying. All right, next up we've got female diver with plant and sea turtle. Basically, sea turtle. Tush. I was going to mm. say, yeah. They I made like the turtles. <laughs> I do like that turtle. I like the turtle a lot. But that's all there is to it. Oh, we've gotten so many deal. diving minifigures. Yeah, and it's the exact same as all the other diving minifigures. That leaf I think. piece came with the mandrake. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> So, yeah, it's an incredibly underwhelming and disappointing wave. That's why I say the license waves are so much more interesting. Yeah. You know, going through this entire round of Toy Fair news, I realized that this year's Toy Fair for LEGO was really not that good. Well, it was more than the last couple of years, which was literally nothing. I mean, well, what, what, 2018 was Harry Potter... That was great. I Last don't year was, I think, that fair. hidden side theme, which, you know, it's okay. Was that at Toy Fair? And then, I think it was. I might be misremembering. But this year, it's just like, let's just be like, oh, oh, it's Toy Fair? Okay, just, I don't know. I'm discontent Send in with Spider Lego. Man, I don't care. <laughs> I'm discontent with Lego until we finally get Digizane. <laughs> you're, you're gonna boycott all lego until no i'm happens. gonna keep buying it until we get digizane <laughs> <laughs> like seriously i am annoyed that we don't have that minifigure yeah look there are a lot of minifigures i'd like them to make i'm not gonna you know but this is one that leaves an incomplete set and Zane is one of the only minifigures to actually have representation in every other wave of our. Yeah, every... we need equal representation for Zane. Ninjago does not have equal representation. Were, were at you all, this but... mad when uh, yes. Void didn't get the kimono version in the well, final battle wave? He got it very shortly after, for one, and yeah, for another. Like two years later. A uh, Golden Lloyd technically matches up with the kimono series, anyways. 
but it wasn't the one in the show that you saw the most. It didn't matter because it was still a complete set of five minifigures. So, what? I, I wasn't mad. What about the Air Jitsu versions? Oh, I was very mad about that, which is I was really good when they came out of, with the Nia and or Lloyd. The, the dragon. That is the bane of my existence. <laughs> the, the I, I'm what? still what? mad about that. <laughs> Oh, God. Those dragon riders annoy me so much because I really like them, but it looks so stupid to have two spots missing here. <laughs> I mean, you could even kind of uh, pawn Lloyd's off as the Wu one because it's not in the show at all, but then there's no Nia at all. since they insist on making her a ninja, why don't they at least include her in every wave so it's consistent? <laughs> I always thought it was interesting that they actually had a listing for for... The dragon flyer Nia. Did they? They did for a while, and then they got rid of it. I never <laughs> heard of that. It was a thing. Huh. Wait a minute. Where the heck is that J? I'm just looking at the minifigures now. Which I've almost completed all of them up to this. I just need Digicole, and I've got all the ninja that have been released currently again. <laughs> I was much faster in collecting this wave than I was the Forbidden Spinjitzu wave. You were. This was really fast. Also, like, the Forbidden Spinjitzu Slam variants are annoying me as well, because now, since LEGO is only doing... Well, they did four last turn. Now they've narrowed it down to three of their special packs. We don't have Spinjitzu Slam Cole or Nia, which is incredibly annoying. Arcade pods... The arcade pods at least can be passed, that they are at least a variant of the other three that's way more boring in the gamer market. I really wish they would have just released all of them again, especially because I really like the arcade pods. I would totally go out and buy three or eight more of these if they had more available. I don't know why they've decided that three is the maximum of these little packs that they can release at any given time. Mm -hmm. So, yes, to answer your question, Ford, yes. Okay. All right, and looks like that's about it for today. <laughs> we don't want to talk about the bad droid set? No, I it literally sucks. had it in there in case we were like half an hour and had nothing else to talk about. Just the uh, D.O. droid life-size set reveal at Toy Store. I never thought that Troy had a good design to begin with, and I have no interest in, in it in Lego form. At all. Well said. <laughs> cool. Epic. Alright, so as always, be sure to leave a comment below on what we talked about today, and if there's anything we missed and you'd like to see in a future episode, leave that in the comments below as well. I'm going to try and live premiere future podcast. It's behind again because someone forgot to review the podcast that actually edited on time last week. But we will get back to it as always. And of course, be sure to keep up with us on the BCC Discord server for when YouTube inevitably fails to find out where our podcast will be moving to then. And for Ford, Clinda, Malaris, Orion, and myself, LQ, thank you for listening. We'll see you on the next episode. Potassium. No. Bazinga.